Hi everyone, we're Tim and Shahad. And I'm Ruby. Welcome to our channel. We are a full-time traveling family sharing our experiences around the world to inspire and be inspired. We've learned that the most amazing experiences come from stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself to see things from a different perspective, whether that be trying new foods or living like the locals. There's always a lesson that can be learned and always room for improvement. Traveling has taught us that the good times would not feel as good without the bad times, and the world is not as scary as it seems. So stick around and join our adventure as we explore, learn, and grow. So today we're at the airport because we are going to Korea today. So we have six flights to get there and we're just on our first one right now. We still have a little bit of time, but we're just at the lounge. We have to go now because our first flight's going to be starting very soon. See you guys. First flight to Turkey. We made it to Turkey. Stop one of five. We are going to one of our most favorite countries in the world. South Korea and to get there we do have to take six planes but they're all kind of short not too long the scary part is that there could be a domino effect if any one of these go wrong next up Abu Dhabi lounge number two of the day and this is what we got for food so happy to be in a halal friendly country so we got chicken soup lots of pickles stuff and then actually here at this lounge they have a kids area which is really cool when I don't miss our food We'll definitely be checking that out. Second plate down, three, four more to go. Four more to go. So we couldn't get our boarding passes for our next flight until four hours before departure and we've got six hours. We actually came here last year for when we first went to Bali when we left Dubai. So it is bringing back all those memories. We do have to wait two hours until we can actually get our boarding passes so that we can get through security so we can get into the lounge so that we can try to find a spot to sleep because we are running on like zero energy and Tim right now is actually passed out on the floor current situation oh man I don't know do you guys like to see this part of the journey I feel like I personally like to see the whole journey getting to a place instead of just like people just teleporting to a place and then you see the story pick up from there I think there's something a little bit more intimate about seeing somebody go through the struggles and the long journey until you get to that destination that you've been waiting for because it just tells the story better. All the highs and lows, you know? I need a shower. <laughs> we all do. We got two hours until our next flight, so we gotta make a mad dash for this. We don't know if we have to go through security, customs, immigration, all that stuff, so we gotta go fast. Gosh, okay, we've just got through immigration, customs now. We gotta get to our gate. This transfers line is not looking good. Hopefully we can make this in time. This is definitely crazy. Security was wild, and then we got this really nice golf cart driver seeing us run to get to the gate, and he helped us by allowing us to get on here. Man, that was so intense. Security in India is the worst, because because they make you take any bit of electronics out, like wires and all of that, and they'll make you put it back in again and again. So that was tough, but we got through, and thankfully our our flight has been delayed by 20 minutes. Otherwise, I don't think we would have made it. And the next flight after this, it's two hours in between, so it's not over yet. The chaos continues. Boarding's been delayed again by five minutes. All right, boarding started. It looks like we're gonna get on this flight finally. Hopefully it lands in time. It's like we're never not out of the danger zone. That's the scary part. Another one down, two more to go. So we landed in the domestic ter terminal. We have to get to the international ter terminal, which is a five minute walk across. How are you feeling, Ruby? Okay. All right, next stop is Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. It's actually our first time in Vietnam. We've never gone to Vietnam. 
made it to Vietnam at last. It's the last leg of the journey. One more flight and we're in Korea. Oh my gosh, it's been the longest two days ever. Six, well, five flights, going to be six, all for this country, this one country of Korea. What a journey. We made it and they, they have this really cool halal lounge here too. Yeah. So that was super exciting because we're starving and tired. And they have a prayer room here, they have halal food, and it's in Vietnam. This was like the last place I would I think to find a halal place. This is it, the last of it. We're boarding now to Incheon. Thank God finally. What's the first thing you do when we get to Korea? Sleep. <laughs> Lay down and relax. Yeah. Finally made it, y'all. <laughs> we survived the journey and we made it. Eventually. Good morning, guys, from Korea. Yay! We finally made it. made it to Korea. That was probably the longest journey. We did it. We survived the six flights that we had and we made it to Korea. Let's go do what we've been waiting for this whole time. To eat Korean food. <laughs> yes, let's go. We are staying in one of the most basic Airbnbs that we have probably stayed in, but it's the cheapest one and it's really close to the subway. There's two bedrooms, which is really hard to find in Seoul, so. But this is our little neighborhood. Can I just say that the subway system in Korea is one of the best ones in the oh, whole yeah, wide world. For sure. They're so simple and easy to navigate. Reason one of a million yeah. that we love it here so much. <laughs> And we have made it to Itaewon. So Itaewon is a very, it's like the very touristy spot, I would say, because there's a lot of foreign food here. There's a lot of foreign people here. This is where you'll find all of that. And that means I'm out of breath. Out of breath? That means you're out of breath. The hills of Korea, I remember them. But because there are a lot of foreign people, there are a lot of halal spots here too. And there's this one spot that we haven't tried last time we were here. And it's supposed to be authentic halal Korean food. So that's where we're going now. We've got food, we've got Korean food. So we came to this place called Hajj Korean food. And it's basically like a hole in the wall spot where it has halal Korean food. And look at what we've got here. Ooh, definitely a little too hot for this. This is some spicy chicken soup. Ruby, what did you get? I got a man What taste? Meat. <laughs> She's a little tender. There you go. It's a meat one. And the fry. Mmm, oh. looks good. Boom. I don't know what's in it, but like it's like a whole chicken is in here. <laughs> Handle the heat, yeah. It's so good. It's like so spicy and flavorful. It's like umami punch right in your face. We got some the pokey soup, you know. Damn, that looks good. Oh, <coughs> good, yeah. It tastes really good. And then we got kimchi. I'm so excited. I haven't had kimchi in so long. <laughs> Whoa, look at my face. Can you tell how hot I am from that soup? Spicy soup and hot weather don't mix. It was so worth it because it tasted so good. The the woman that runs the shop was the sweetest woman ever. We were like, she was having full on conversation with us in Korean, and we were just like nodding, and she was like having so much fun with the conversation. Definitely come and check it out if you want. I think she was saying that uh, well, there's too much police in America. <laughs> oh, she was like freedom, freedom. Then <laughs> yeah, then she was like, oh, but the police. <laughs> How stupid oh, yeah, is here? Hopefully we don't have to come back up this way. We do, yeah. Do we? No. They have these delicious flavored like nuts. I forget what the flavor was that we got last time, but I used to buy like 10 bags at a time. <laughs> it's so weird being like back in a place that we once were in and like actually visiting all the spots and feeling all sentimental feelings about it. This is the first time we ever came back to a country that we've been to. And it's just so fun. I love it so much. Seven Bones are on another level. Here, look at all this. These are all chicken breast, chicken breast, just, and then they have like eggs, different things, and you can like kind of combine it all and make a meal out of all these different things. Also, there's like rice, 
right here. So many different kinds of things. And I have microwaves for you to use so you can make your whole meal in this convenience store. Each um, drink, they have the flavor on the outside. So this one, it's red. So that's how you know it's strawberry. Okay, y'all, so we got a, <laughs> a milk tea. Shake it first. Yeah, so let's leave that. <laughs> you always shake it first. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty good. You like it? Yeah, it's just like the, the boba tea without the boba. These straws, <sighs> that's these good. straws, they open up like this. So cool. So cool. It's like so cool. Yep, really good. Well, hello there. Is it the next day? Yes, it is. Are we extremely jet lagged? Yes, we are. But that's to be expected when you take six airplanes in two days. It's not gonna stop us from going out and exploring Korea. Let's go. It's a beautiful day and we're gonna go get some. We're gonna go get some bikes and then after we're gonna get some Korean barbecue and then finally we're gonna go to a kid cafe. I've been wanting to do this ever since we came here. Just missed the subway. Now we gotta wait. Reason number 10,000 that we love Korea, they've got sun umbrellas right here so that you can shade yourself from that scorching sun. Reason number 10,001, they have these really cool lights that change colors on the sidewalks to let you know when it's time to go. Reason number 10,005, there are a bunch of playgrounds all over this mega city. Even at the, the apartments, they have their own like park. Look how cute! <laughs> Reason number 10,010, I don't remember what number we're on, but they have bikes! Any place we can find bikes always becomes one of my favorite places because I just love riding bicycles, especially with Ruby. It's such a fun thing. How you doing? Good. Woo! It's so fun, isn't it? Reason number 400 billion to live here is that the people really enjoy being outside. There are so many like outdoor activities and stuff that people are literally doing every single second of the day. Even if you go out like at night, like people are still out at night, like walking around, exercising, working out, just hanging out, enjoying uh, being outside. And it's extremely cool. It's a lot better when it's not hot though. All right, so we just stopped at a mini pit stop. How cute is that for bikers? And another reason why we love Korea so much is that it is so safe here. You can leave your bicycles unlocked right here, just parked out front. And your phone. And your phone. <laughs> and nobody's gonna take it. Would you get peach, peach flavored water maybe? Oh, getting coconut milk with coconut milk. Coconut bit. They have like these coffee pouches or other types of drink pouches that you can get and then your ice separately and then you combine the two and you have fresh iced coffee or iced lemon. It's just super cool. Now let's assemble another plastic piece. Off. Tear. <laughs> oh, look at that. I haven't seen so many videos of people doing this and it's just so cool to do it. The most important part, of course, we have to try it. It's strong but refreshing. Now, did you even come to Korea without getting some Korean barbecue? No, it's Korean barbecue. We came back to our favorite place for Korean barbecue here. It's called Yanggud. It's in Gangnam. And we're gonna get some lamb and chicken barbecue. So step one, they have to bring out a hot box of uh, charcoal and then um, they put it inside this little thing here. And then they turn on this thing, it sucks up the smoke. And then they throw on the meat on the grill there. And then they cook it up real good. And then you eat it. Step two, you throw the meat on the grill. And they also have soup bowls. Yeah, because we got some soybean stew. Ooh. Oh, so excited. Look at it. Are you trying, trying the soybean stew? Do you like it? Yummy. 
Oh yeah. Ooh, looking good. We got our first batch. Finish. Oh, look at the juice dripping. Oh my god, Ruby. Did you try it already? Maybe chicken. She couldn't even wait. I honestly couldn't. Oh my god, look at it. Look at that. It's so good. I'm crying. I'm just going right for the meat. Oh man. Oh man. It's so good. This is fine. Perfectly juicy and marinated. It's like sweet and salty. I think it's better than I remember. Yeah? It's so juicy. It's so juicy. Oh, that barbecue was so good and it did not last long. I really like the chicken one. I don't know what they use on the marinade, but it's so good. It's delicious. <laughs> Oh, you got those? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Reason number 11,000 why we love Korea so much is the cafe culture here is one of the best that we've ever been to. Like, they have a, a huge, huge cafe culture. I'm talking like cafes for adults that are really unique, like pet cafes, and then also, kid cafes, like the one we're in right now. This one is called Lilliput, and it is so cute and just perfect to take your kids to because there's so much for them to do. And Ruby, as soon as we came here, literally just got so happy and excited. Adults are free to enter some of these cafes, but sometimes they will make you like buy a drink, buy a drink like in this situation. Done. <laughs> That's delicious. It tastes like fruity pebbles. Does it? Yeah. Did you get? Royal milk tea. Royal milk tea. Ooh. Yeah, it slaps. And the thing I love about the kids' cafes here are like the parents are encouraged to like sit down and just have a drink or food. They do have food in a lot of these. And then the kids just go play. And then there's like attendants that help them if they need help, which is super cool. So we're in Gangnam on a street called K-Star Road and they have a bunch of these cute little figurines that you can go by and take pictures with and it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt for Ruby so she's having a lot of fun trying to find them all. Number two. Ta-da! Now find number three. You found number? Three. Number three. No, it's 2 p.m. Island. Here are the oldies, oldie but goodies. Reason number 12,300 why we love Korea. They sell monsters. <laughs> because I love K pop. K pop is just so fun. That too. Got Miss A. Blue, on blue. You know Matt. All right, so I guess that concludes our day here in Seoul and the video. If you take anything away from this video, you should take away that Seoul and South Korea is a very special place to us and we would literally fly across <laughs> the world just to come here on a crazy six flight yeah. journey. This place is just so much fun. There's so much to do here. You can never get sick of it. And this is just the beginning. Today we relived some of our favorite spots here that we went to last time we were here. Mm -hmm. and it was just so sentimental and now we're gonna discover some more so if you did like the video like it subscribe and then you'll be notified when we post again so you can stay with us bye, bye. see you next time bye.